how we do money is how we do everything. And we're not really taught about money. And so the very first thing you might want to do is start empowering yourself about money and how money works. Not only how income and expenses might affect your business or your household, but how, um, you know, people always say, well, I'm not good at money, so I need a budget. But budgets don't always solve the problem because I realized when I didn't have a whole lot of money that I would budget. And if I didn't have enough to cover the bills or to buy that one extra thing that I was budgeting for, it made me feel really bad. And so I just want to assure everybody that budgeting is not the actual answer. Budgeting is a way to track your money and reach money goals, but it doesn't help you accumulate wealth or freedom or get organized in any way. Um, if you are on that edge where you're you're struggling to make ends meet. It's a lot easier once the cash flow evens out. However, I still find it really disturbing on those days when I don't have enough to do the thing I wanted to do or the amount I budgeted is not correct. So I, there's a bit of a myth about budgeting. You know, even in companies and government, you budget something and you allocate the resources, the financial resources, the money, the actual cash to do that thing. And something's always going to go wrong and it's going to cost more or something won't be available or some part of the project will get abandoned and then the money isn't in the right spot. So it's constantly juggling. So think of budgeting more as the tracking of where your money currently is and where you can move it around to if needed. Um, at a certain point though, you can change that tracking into games of let me reach these bigger and broader goals with, with my income and or cutting expenses. So just know that budgeting, while it's important to understand what um, where your money is and where it's going and assigning a purpose for your money, it's not quite the same thing as budgeting. So I love to, to think about money in terms of purpose. I'm going to use this for my housing and household. I'm going to use this for my personal stuff. I'm going to use this for my kids. I'm going to use this for running my business. That kind of broader category will help you um, when you're just getting started and learning about money. It doesn't have to be as granular. Um, as, as some budgets make it out to be like, this is all my insurance payments. This is all my car payments, that kind of thing. Um, but it's also really fun to learn how many works, what's expected, how much you need, and then kind of figure out for yourself what makes sense. Our brains process information differently. So for me, a budget and, and that method of tracking is not ideal. But for someone that processes and really loves a good checklist and filling out forms to orient themselves, using a budget as that guide, but knowing that it's not set in stone and it is a flexible structure will help you too.